welcome to my channel. It's Persian Doll Tarot. Hope everyone's doing excellent today. We're going to do a money reading for the collective Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Could be traveling or moving on. Could be traveling by a boat. I did mention someone could be going on a cruise. I believe one of you said you are going in May. Balance, harmony, moderation, the judgment, rebirth, and a calling. The wheel of fortune, destiny, life cycles, ups and downs, good omen, fortune. I'm getting divine timing. I never got that before, but I got that now. You will finally achieve success. The world could be exploring your options, waiting on something. You could be considering traveling. You could run, run an enterprise. There's competition. There's conflict. Something about other people. What is this about? Clarity, mental, like new idea, sharpness. You could be, someone could be getting surgery, manifestation of abundance, prosperity, a new offer, a message about an opportunity, grief, heartbreak. What is the three of swords about? Having trouble sleeping, having anxiety, could be worried. Do not worry. It does not serve you to worry. It's a waste of your energy. It's going to create more reasons to worry. You're looking at your investments, your achievements. You could be looking at what you've done so far in your life. And you're asking yourself, is it worth it? Did it pay off? You're considering moving on emotionally. Could be walking away. Whoa, that was way too many cards. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if this reading resonates. The Chariot. You're going to overcome whatever challenge. If there is a challenge using your will, your power. Very passionate about a new idea, a new project. Inspired to take action. You could be thinking about your childhood. Happy memories. You could be having nostalgia. You have options. You're visualizing, you're daydreaming, you're reflecting, you're thinking, you're feeling emotionally. You're a natural born leader. You're an entrepreneur. Dreams coming true. Happily ever after. Blissful relationships. Total love and fulfillment. So much happiness. The Hierophant, wisdom, traditional wisdom, institutions. You could be ignoring reality, avoiding something, choosing between two, can't make a decision. Or you could be avoiding reality, protecting your boundaries against. It looks like you're protecting yourself. You're ignoring this co these competitive people who are willing to, I don't want to say backstab, but do whatever it takes to win. There's like an empty victory for these people. But you're still standing. This person's looking like they have lost. They're grieving. This person's just kind of thinking like, I, I lost. Look at his sword is down. But you still have three swords in your hand. Very interesting. What is this about, universe? Angel, spirit. Ooh, this is the second time that the nine of pentacles wanted to come out. So you're living in luxury. Or you will be. Enjoying the fruits of your labor, living independently, so much abundance, prosperity, nurturing, empathetic. You're very, you're, you're very empathetic, very nurturing. Could be a water sign, doesn't have to be. Listening to your intuition, you're gaining knowledge, you're meditating, you're renewing your mind. You could be programming the subconscious. Pull some oracle cards and see what messages we can get. This is a brand new deck. I'm very excited to use it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if this resonates for you. Gold, you don't need someone else to fix you. I'm getting, if you're going to outsource your healing, your help, your mental health, 
that's a great thing, you know, to go to therapy, to things of that nature. But it's ultimately up to you and you have to do the work on your own is what I'm getting. Go to the bookstore, read books, go to the transformation section, go to the psychology section. You'd be surprised how much you can learn, how much you can heal yourself. You can fix yourself, so to speak. Oh, we got three new cards. Mirror, treat your body like the palace that it is. Take care of your health. Weave together the crown you deserve. I love this. Look at all the beautiful roses. Expectations, don't seek anyone's approval. Sundress, do it for you. This is really time together. This is about you healing, taking good care of yourself, your mental health, your physical health, your body, your mind, the crown, your confidence, your self-esteem, your self-concept. How do you get validation? You, you know, get it from yourself. Don't seek outside approval. Don't, don't go on Instagram posting things unless you're making money off of it. Sundress, do it for yourself. Feel free, do it for yourself. Wear what you like to wear. Dress up for yourself is what I'm getting. Library, take control of your own narrative. I love this. I'm getting learn. I did mention go to the bookstore, but this is also about you controlling your, your story. Your story is what you're constantly sharing with other people. You have a, so much emotional attachment to that story. Important that you tell the story you want as you want it to be. Spaceship, don't be afraid to sing. Singing is very therapeutic. You should definitely be singing or dancing every day or often. It really does help you with your mental health and your happiness. Flower, be honest with yourself. This is also a number eight card, which justice is coming. Ooh, somebody's gonna get justice. I love these cards. What do you guys think? Comment below, do you like this deck? I'm gonna do another reading for you guys. Let's use another deck, Collective Aries. Show them what will arrive if they renew their mind, if they focus on gratitude, if they do their affirmations, if they do their meditations, if they visualize, if they live in the end, if they pray, if they fall asleep in the assumption, if they do what they know they need to do, if they raise their vibration, if they take care of themselves and they do what makes them happy. I'm gonna do upright only for this one. Let's see, what do we have here? Universe, angels, spirits, and guides. What do we have for the collective Aries? That's so funny, I had a feeling I should knock. Wealth, business, leadership, security, abundance, discipline, prosperity, generosity. I'm getting intuitively, somebody has an idea to start a new business and they're gonna be disciplined, they're gonna be very abundant, very wealthy, very prosperous. Tr start this business on the 28th. Holding back or new begin, no, new beginnings, I said upright only, new re-beginnings, possibilities are endless, you're optimistic, you're spontaneous, you're gonna take blind faith, you trust life, you're, you're gonna seek pleasure and do what you love, you're gonna take advantage of this opportunity on the 28th to start something new. Twenty-eight is the number of wealth in numerology. On the twenty-eighth, start. Of, if you already have a business, make an offer on the twenty-eighth. That that adds up to the number eight. So, for example, two hundred and sixty dollars, three hundred and fifty, three dollars and fifty cents. Whatever you do, endings, new beginnings, change, transformation, metamorphosis, the end of a cycle, transition. Something's changing, ending, acting strategically. Somebody could be getting away with something, betraying deception but that's not what I feel intuitively believe it or not this is more about acting strategically being a trickster you, you know scheming a little bit but not you know showing your cards to other people for whatever reason ambitious you're very driven to succeed you're fast thinking you're action oriented you're defending your beliefs Head over heart decision. You're gonna be disciplined, truthful, honest. You have mental clarity. You're gonna take authority. You're taking advantage of this opportunity, whatever it is. Public recognition, victory, progress, self-confidence. It's gonna pay off. You're gonna be successful. You're gonna be known. People will know who you are. 
natural born leader, entrepreneur, visionary, overcoming challenges, focusing on your career. You will be victorious. You will make a lot of progress. You will get confidence out of this because you will be known for being great. Excellent community will recognize you. So there is competition, rivalry, disagreement, strife, tension between you and some other people. Uh, we keep getting this card. Not sure what that's about, but it, it does symbolize competition, conflict, and rivalry. We have, you're very energetic. You're very passionate. You're taking inspired action. You're fearless and impulsive, and you're going on a new adventure. You're going to celebrate something about your creativity, collaborating, happiness, something with the community, friends, family, friendship, celebration, because you're so emotionally happy, fulfilled, satisfied. Looks like the ultimate final manifestation, the result of your hard work. You've been carrying so many burdens, taking all this extra responsibility, and now you're completing this cycle. It's gonna propel you into a new beginning. You're very compassionate. You're gonna be comfortable. You're gonna be healing, nurturing, emotional state, emotionally stable. You're very intuitive and caring. You you could have a water moon or there could be a water sign in your life not sure why my camera died but we're back so let's see what else do we have for the collective aries what is the final outcome spirit meditation reevaluation disconnection interesting opportunities wishful thinking choices daydreaming searching purpose visualizing feeling Oh my goodness, so you're meditating, you're very intuitive, you know that you need to meditate, disconnect from the world. Di oh, you guys, this, the chills that I'm getting, this is 100% factual. You know you need to meditate by living in the end with your thoughts, even by the choices you're making right now, right? By daydreaming, visualizing, living in the end that you're going to manifest abundance. What did I just say? What did I just say? Abundance. Comment below abundance. Comment below say I claim abundance. Like this video, comment, subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Wow, you guys. Intuition. You have you're having dreams. There's you have subconscious, you have a premonition about this success. You could have a water moon like a Pisces moon, Cancer Scorpio. Wow, which is which explains why you know you have this you already know this. It's not it's hidden because it's the moon, but you know it intuitively. You could have had a dream about this. You could have had fears, anxieties, subconscious beliefs you've been working on premonition. This is also an 18. This is it reduces to a 9. It's about completion. You're completing a cycle. You're going to be so abundant. You're going to be developing abundance, accomplishing, growing, evolution, action. Some It could be, not for all of you, it could very well be that whatever venture business this is, it's something in the creative field, something where you're going to have to express yourself. It could be with your voice. It could be like a podcast. It could be, I don't know, anything, honestly. It could be about art or even gardening. I mean, this is a very nurturing woman. Very nurturing and fertile, feminine, evolution, evolving, you're evolving. Unified love, partnership. You could be partnering up with someone or you could be getting married. There's a union here. This is a beautiful reading. The devil card, shadow self, attachment, addiction, restriction, materialism. Ooh, so the only thing is that you need to stop. Ooh, you guys. You need to detach from materialism. You need to stop wanting material things. You're obsessed and it's destructive and it's co it's creating toxicity. It's creating attachments, addictions, which, which we all know in order to manifest something, when you hold on to it, it doesn't come to you. You're implying you don't have it. I am so happy about this reading. I'm so proud of it. Let's see what can the collective Aries hear about today to become more abundant. Thank you for watching, by the way. Please like, comment, subscribe, share my videos, turn on my post notifications so that you'll never miss an upload. I do upload randomly. Okay, let's see, what do we have for the collective Aries? 
make a gratitude list. We got this card in the last reading. Focus on gratitude and you will experience and discover amazing generosity from the universe. Partnership. Allow supportive people in your life, personal and career. You're receiving help from heaven and from a person who brings needed skills and resources. Words of abundance. You have the ability to instantly manifest abundance by choosing powerfully positive words. I say this all the time on my channel. Always describe your own and the world's economic situation in loving and optimistic terms, and that is what you attract for yourself and others. Everyone who's fear-mongering and talking about worst case scenario is literally helping manifesting it. They're, they're out they're giving away their power don't be one of those people i love you guys thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next video